minutes about the group or screen share the the GitHub repo or something? Yeah, I'll do some screen sharing and I'll say what I think and then Wayne can uh, fill in the games. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll go over a few things about the group. Um, I think uh, recently what we've, um, w as um, as the group, we've been able to create a standard way to uh, have work items within the group. Um, but I'll talk a little bit about the history of the claims credentials group, our focus area, you know, um, other working groups that we interact with, et cetera. Um, yeah, perfect. <clears throat> so um, Gabe has his screen sharing going on and um, Historically, we've been focused on uh, claims um, and credentials, of course, uh, and you know what's the difference between a claim and credential. Uh, there's a lot of terminology with respect to this, um, a lot of different ecosystems. Uh, when you talk to folks from ITF and some other places, uh, they um, what we're trying to represent with the verifiable credential, you know, those folks usually call claims, right? And when you say credentials there, um, then uh, basically uh, username and passwords, uh, bearer tokens come to mind. Uh, so um, figuring out how to work through a lot of this terminology and the right use cases across different protocols, you know, that's what we've been focused on uh, for a while. <laughs> so <clears throat> I, I want to call attention to some of the main work items that uh, have been in progress throughout the group. Um, you know, it won't take that long and, you know, happy to take some questions at the end. But um, first and foremost, a lot of the effort of the group has been going into the presentation exchange specification. And uh, I believe that uh, Gabe has that open another tab here. Uh, Gabe has been contributing a bunch and a lot of other folks, um, Dan from Microsoft, um, you know, was uh, one of the pioneers in this work. But um, the whole idea here was, uh, and uh, Gabe, if you could switch the tab over to the uh, presentation exchange, so there's a URL there. Yeah, so, so the whole idea here is that, um, thank you. Um, when, when you're trying to request um, credentials from someone, how do you do that, right? What's the canonical way that works across different protocols, different transports, et cetera? Uh, because we're really talking about uh, application layer use of these verifiable credentials or uh, so-called claims basically assertions about reality, right? How do we ask for the proper set of them? Let's say that, um, you know, I'm talking to a bank or some kind of person who might be an issuer and um, I'm, uh, and uh, maybe they want to uh, collect some information from me. They might send me a request for that information and then uh, there might be a set format for me to respond in, right? That's basically the dance that presentation exchange tries to do. Um, and, um, effectively um, being able to use this across uh, OpenID Connect flows, across DIDCOM, across um, CHAPI, you know, a bunch of these uh, transports that have come over and you've probably heard of these through the other face-to-face uh, -face, uh, working groups. Uh, you know, that's really the goal here. How do we just uh, try to solve this once and just have canonical implementations uh, that, that interoperate? And maybe Gabe, would you like to share about um, you know some of the efforts uh, that you've seen on the implementation front of presentation exchange? Yeah, uh, I don't want to get too deep into it because the next fifteen or yeah, fifteen minutes are dedicated solely to presentation exchange. Um, so maybe let's leave it there for a higher level and say come back in a minute if if you want to hear more. Um, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I I would say that we're wrapping up the first version of it and accepting comments and concerns. And there are a bunch of issues open right now, mostly editorial changes, and we're hoping to wrap that up uh, by the end of the month to get the first version of the spec out. Um, yep. So uh, super exciting stuff there. Um, so that that was basically the the work item that seeded a lot of the interest, and you know, it's going to result in derivative work items. For example, uh, what was called the credential manifest. Um, how do we create like a form or something like that? Um, you know, to actually request it. How do we build on top of presentation exchange to make it more ergonomic to ask for information based on verifiable credentials, um, et cetera. So um, this, um, this is moving forward and the work really relates off of to each other. And we talk to a bunch of different working groups uh, about uh, how to fulfill requirements. How do we use this? You know, how does this work with Didcom, et cetera. Um, so I think that um, at, at one point we were focusing on um, what we called a credentials taxonomy. Uh, being able to just create a, a kind of a high level database of the different ways that people are using verifiable credentials um, in the wild, basically, whether it's steel mill certifications for quality, whether it's educational credentials, et cetera, understanding what is the journal look and feel 
um, what are the important data points that people are always capturing in the schemas right over and over again. Um, the credential taxonomy work was put on pause because um, as you may or may not know, um, the world is not full of these credentials being used where it wasn't about a year ago. And I, I think we've actually seen some massive adoption since then in terms of just the breadth and array of credentials that are out there, verifiable credentials that are that is uh, built on JWTs or JSON-LD. And uh, you know, there's, there's emerging interest in uh, basically revitalizing that work item. Um, so uh, there was also a bunch of other interest recently. And uh, Gabe, if you don't mind going back to the um, chart, uh, the yeah, so um, the work items. Um, so we have a lot of interest going into 2021, um, a bunch of other related work items that work with presentation exchange, credential manifest, and kind of reveal some other problems uh, from real world use cases where people are trying to use verifiable credentials in the workflow, but find some missing pieces and, uh, and some uh, specification or alignment opportunities here. Um, <clears throat> once, uh, so in, in pursuance of this, um, we came up with a process on how to actually add a work item, uh, what, how to ratify, et cetera. And um, I think that uh, that was in this repository here uh, in terms of the actual like uh, instructions. Any um, question? <clears throat> yeah, is there a question? Okay, great. So, <clears throat> so uh, it's lightweight, but here's a lightweight process to create a new work item. A lot of this um, is, um, thinking about IPR, intellectual property rights, if we want to truly develop something in the open and allow everyone to be able to you know, use it in the open, what does that actually look like, right? Um, and uh, well, that means that we need to think about how to actually uh, legally make that in the open so you don't have a patent troll or someone you know, saying everyone who implemented the specification or um, these guidelines owes me a dollar. Right. Um, so uh, that's why it's very important that um, DIFF works closely with the Linux Foundation, lawyers, et cetera. So we figure that out. But um, it, it's a very lightweight uh, process to open a work item. If you're uh, curious, um, the, the right steps are um, listed here. You can just make a PR with your proposed work item, answering a bunch of questions. Before then, please come to a claims and credentials call and just kind of, you know, get some informal feedback from your peers. Um, maybe there's a, a work item already that's trying to do what you're do what you're trying to do, you know, uh, or you could get some guidance on the scoping and everything like that. Um, yeah, we okay, want. Wayne, if go I ahead. could step in for a sec. So the three main formal work items that we've uh, decided upon are presentation exchange, and as that's wrapping up, credential manifest because it's fairly complementary. Um, and uh, the most recent one is the VC marketplace started by the folks at Affinity and other places. I think we were going to have a session today, but there was some scheduling conflicts. So I'd look out for an upcoming session, diving into this a bit further, but it does touch on a number of things Wayne mentioned around uh, credential taxonomy and more generally a design for how uh, people uh, interact in a VC world. Yeah, and we're especially excited about this work item because a lot of the use cases are coming from industry and, uh, you know, boots on the ground, basically trying to figure out how do we actually improve systems to be more privacy preserving and efficient by applying uh, a lot of the technologies here. So starting from the use case and the end users and what are their concerns with respect to data sharing? What are the requirements for discoverability? How can we kind of negotiate that? You know, that's what excites me personally about this work item because we're really starting from problems instead of just trying to shove technology into places. So um, uh, when uh, uh, Kishore and his team, you know, brought this idea to the diff, it was pretty well received because um, everyone did want to start with real use cases instead of, uh, you know, just uh, let's design what the protocol looks like um, first. So um, by focusing on end users and uh, understanding through, uh, you know, of course, um, we, we take uh, care to make sure that there's no confidential information uh, leaking to these things. Um, but um, being able to start from a base, like imagine a labor market or imagine, you know, um, sort of, um, uh, somewhere where labor, laborers have to be qualified somehow and you're looking for them, right? These are high level enough that um, they give us a very concrete use case to look at and iterate upon. So um, that's, um, that's a great summary of the three work items we have going on. 
And I think the follow on work items uh, that have been proposed or that has some interest, um, but we haven't seen a proposal yet is um, biometrics. How do we uh, incorporate biometrics and ensure privacy? Someone's gonna do it, but what are the considerations here and how do we think about it so that it's done in as best as we possibly could hope instead of just uh, haphazardly. Um, and uh, revocation is another big topic too for claims and credentials. Um, how do we say that these things are now invalid or, you know, um, or they were fraudulent to begin with? Um, there are many different ways, at least three, you know, being able to talk about them um, and uh, uh, starting to um, uh, categorize different ways to revoke. Uh, and finally, reviving the credential schemas and ontology. So um, yeah. that's a bit about the future of the group, uh, and I can stop there. Yeah, one thing I, I wanted to uh, call out as kind of an observation is that we've structured our work items in such a way that we provide options. We recognize that not everyone is going to be using uh, the same tools, the same languages, the same ledgers. Uh, so it's really important to understand the trade-offs of the different solutions that are out there and be able to choose them um, intelligently as you're designing your system in the space. So that's one focus area for uh, all of the um, specs we're, we're working on currently. Okay, great. So if you have any questions, uh, talk to Gabe, myself. Uh, Martin um, has a new little one, so um, he needs a little bit of a break. Well deserved at that. Um, and uh, but yeah, happy to more than happy to talk to you about work items over Slack or come to the meeting. Uh, very open to people and folks. Um, so yeah, thanks for your attention.